Hi everybody, I'm Katie Hogan Brown, Kristen's younger sister and matron of honor. I've been in the passenger seat for the majority of Kristen's life, and I'd like to think I've always made some sort of impact on my sister. And in 2015, we were at a family wedding and Kristen was telling us that she had a date the next day. I always feel the need to protect her heart and her hopeless, romantic, dreaming ways. And I remember nudging my dad up there to stay close to her the next day. Well, the next day comes and it's Sunday night and I got a text message from Kristen that says, I'm gonna marry this guy. that I am. <laughs> I thought, oh boy, here we go. Well, here we are. God, we are grateful in this moment for your creation, and we acknowledge the seas and the sky, and we are grateful that you have creatively provided a beautiful space for us to live and inhabit, so we're grateful. God, we see the family that's gathered here, many that have invested in these two for many, many years and have provided and protected and dreamed that they would someday find somebody to travel life with, and so we ask for your favor and your blessing. Uh, these two are who they are because of what has been invested into them. And over Byron and Kristen right now, Father, we ask that you would give them uh, really a sense of joy over their lives, every experience gained, every failure every success that have led them to this moment. We all ask for their future that you would give great blessing and favor, protection and peace over them in this moment and the rest of their lives together. Amen. We want to welcome you on behalf of Byron and Kristen and their families. We are so glad that you are here in this unbelievably beautiful place at the perfect time to celebrate the joining of two lives together, two people that we all care for very, very much. I remember after our first date, I, I walked inside and I cried tears of joy and relief. I knew it then. After even a few hours of knowing you, you had lifted this heaviness that sat on my heart. You still do that to me today, almost three years later. Kristen today surrounded by people who are our biggest fans, I promise you this, I will forever laugh with you in the good times and comfort you in times of sorrow. I will share your dreams and support you as you strive to achieve them. 
I will listen to you with compassion and understanding. You've taught me so much, but especially to love myself. You've taught me that two people join together through kindness, trust, and open communication are far stronger. I know the weight of life will change throughout our lives. My biggest vow to you, among many other things, is to carry the weight of life with you. Yes, a crossfitter talking about weightlifting in her vows. Whether it be a day like today where the weight is easy to carry together, or a day where I don't know if we can tackle what's in front of us, but I will share the burden with you and carry the heaviness that may ever sit on your heart like you have done for me from the very start. Together, let us build a family filled with learning, laughing, and empathy. I promise to always watch Harry Potter with you <laughs> and to protect you from all of the birds. <laughs> I will forever love you without hesitation and no matter what the condition may be. I am forever your biggest fan, your lover, your best friend, and your husband. As I believe that you're serious about these, I do by virtue bestowed on me as a minister here in the state of Florida on this beautiful beach, declare that from this moment on, you're a husband and wife. Kristen, you are now and forever Byron's. Byron, you are now and forever Kristen's. You may kiss your butt.